Hi team, I want to take a moment and talk about allomorphs and decoding. Uh, this is a concept that, that you might see maybe on an English language learner exam. Uh, it, it comes up, this vocab comes up a lot there, but it also comes up on your exam too. So an allomorph is a morpheme. It's a type of morpheme, and we should clarify what a morpheme is. A morpheme is the smallest part of a word that carries meaning. In the word cats, cats, that word cats has two morphemes. There's the base word that carries meaning. And then there's, in this case, the suffix here that also carries meaning, more than one. Is that right? If you've ever had cats, plural, you know that's trouble. So a morpheme is the smallest part of a word that carries meaning. And we, we look at like prefixes, bases, or roots, and suffixes to analyze a word structure and its morphemes. Now, an allomorph, I know this is a little advanced, an allomorph is, a, is like a, a part of a word, like let's say a suffix. Let, like, let's say the ed suffix. Got it? Now we think of that as a, that. what does that mean? When you say uh, something with uh, ed, like, like hunted or fished or slammed, okay? That is indicating it's a past tense form of the verb, yes? So you know that hunted is past tense, fished is past tense, slammed is past tense. <coughs> okay, great. So... Here we have a suffix that represents a morpheme uh, suffix that represents past tense. Now here's why it's an allomorph, because it is ed, but in each one of these words, hunted, fished, slammed, it sounds different. It's pronounced different. Hunted, hunt ed. It's got the id sound. Fished, the ed's got the t sound. Uh, slammed, it's got the d sound. Do you see that? Ah, <laughs> that's an allomorph. So an allomorph is a is a is a suffix. In this case, it's a it's it's an example of a part of a word, or in this case, it's going to be a suffix uh, here with the ed that the pronunciation changes um, for different words. Here's an example of an allomorph where it's uh, it goes from id in hunted, uh, t in fished, and and uh, in slammed. Okay, and this would be something that would have to be clarified with a student, especially if they're learning English at, uh, for the first time, because it would be confusing. They would see the ed at the end of a word, and, and you know, you learn a phonics pattern, you're going to want to repeat the phonics pattern, and then you're told, oh, it, it makes this sound for this word. Oh, oh, sorry, it's changed again. Oopsie, whoopsies, one more time. It would be very confusing. Okay, so this is something that would come up in a decoding activity that would have to be um, explicitly clarified, okay? And so the scenario that we're going to do involves, you know, um, working with allomorphs, spe specifically the ED sound, okay? All right, let's take a look at the question. 